just looking for these little tiny tracks. Tonight we're going to see the performance of Corteo, which is a Cirque du Soleil traveling show. We have the unique opportunity where we have these badges for it, and we're here right now about five hours before the show, and we're going to go behind the scenes and show you guys what it's like the day of a performance for Cirque du Soleil. Word is that we might even get to try a few things. Behind the scenes, Cirque du Soleil. Let's do this. Look at this, we're in a giant arena where they usually play hockey and do concerts. So it's it's this whole section of the arena is what it's gonna be the show. Oh, and on that side too, double sides. Okay, right now we are on one of the two backstages. This has two places where the performers come in and out of. Claire, what's your favorite thing in here? Uh, probably the chandelier. This is a giant chandelier that I guess, what, they're gonna be coming out on this? Yeah, and it's plastic and there's wires so you can hang on it and I think it's gonna be really cool. Yeah. This is a traveling show and some people don't realize the magnitude of what it takes to put on a show like this. Apparently there are 21 semi-trailers that take these people around and then also there's over 300 people that work on this that will be here. But then because there's so many people and they're so efficient with this, on Sunday when the last show is performed, within four hours they'll have this entire thing taken down and they'll be getting it all packed up and on the road. So pretty efficient. All right, we're gonna go look at the other side. We are now meeting one of the performers, his name is Sasha, and he's gonna show us something and maybe see if we can actually possibly do something. I don't know. I think you're doing something. I think you got something going. Oh! Oh, yeah. Once, once to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw it to myself. Yeah. And three six and three six and take it back. Very, very nice, nice. Take it back. You got this. You got this. Oh, nice. There we go. First try. I'm ready for the show. I'm ready to be on stage tonight. What is this called? Diavolo. Diavolo. Oh, the Diavola, Divola, Divol. I, I already forgot, but it's something like that. Now we're gonna learn how to get from one part of the stage to the other. Because if you look, we've got people over here performing and we're in this stage right here, but we need to get to the other stage. So this is the secret way to get through. So in the big top, that's really easy because we build the venue so the artists can just go around the outside of the tent underneath the seats. When we play in arenas, we can't do that. So we had to invent a system to take the artists from upstage where we are now to downstage without the audience seeing them. So this is one of the machines here. We call this the crossover. And the crossover <laughs> takes you underneath the stage. No. That's all the way cool. to the other it's side. It's an actual machine. It's an actual machine. So if we look at it what? just now, if you sit here, it's super dark, but all the way at the other end, there's lights. So it takes you all the way down 200 feet to the other side of the stage. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, looking good, looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, keep your hands inside the ride at all times. Just got it. And then as soon as you're ready, the rope is moving. Go! Bye, Claire! Bye, buddy! Bye, buddy. I hope you find your mom. So, what does it look like when you go yourself? First, I gotta get low. Am I on? I feel like I'm on. Alright, we're gonna do this the crossover. Ready, set, go. Whoa, see you guys! Whoa. Oh, that's a bar right there. If you're claustrophobic, probably not the thing for you. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I made it! Oh, there's trapeze people right behind us. If you look behind me on the wall, there are 22 flags representing the different countries that the performers and the people that work on this are from. They travel for a year and a half in the United States and then they go to Europe and travel for a long time. So this is Sante, she's from British Columbia, Canada, and she is the hoops expert. And she's also one of the people that fly from the chandeliers. And wait a second, somebody's jumping on a bed. Just because. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to hula hoop here. I'm not very good at this, but. Okay, think of when the hoop goes this way to push your stomach forward and then when it goes that way, you push back. So you're always bringing some speed. So try it. 
Nice. Oh, Lincoln, nice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Push. And you lift. Push down. Yes. Oh, and grab it. Oh. Yes, they grab you. Oh, yeah. you're the ringmaster. You're next. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. of our steaming and ironing. We do this every day. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. Yes, because they look a little crumply when they come out of the washing yeah. machine. This looks like it's pretty old. This looks like it's from, straight from Cinderella, but you still <laughs> use this one. Is that the, like the good one to use? Ricky's machine is super special because she can get inside a shoe with it. So if what? I was to break this line of stitching right here, there's no way I could fix it on that machine. But I can take this machine and I can get into the toes all the way up into the toes if I need to stitch something. Okay, I was right when I said this thing is like Cinderella age. This is from 1902, the Singer, and it's better than the other ones. It gets inside of the shoe and you can turn the thread. So she's kind of interesting. A lot of these clothes have weird little packs in them that we put in. It's pretty cool. Usually in a show you have to have a spotlight operator, but we don't have spotlight operators. Instead, we have little infrared trackers on everybody that needs a spotlight. And the lighting department has 24 infrared cameras that look at the stage all the time. And we're just looking for these little tiny trackers on people. You can put them on, a, on an object, you can put them on a person. They use them a lot in rock and roll shows. That way you don't have to have anybody up in the grid with a follow spot just doing this the whole show. <laughs> Instead, you put it through a computer system and it looks for them. And somebody at a board at the front, when you come on stage, will turn yours up and it'll follow you around the stage till you leave. She will get some trackers right at her shoulders so they can find her on stage. We're back in the big area right now and the lights are turned on. It gives you a better perspective of what's going on in here. One thing that's very cool is look up there, you see the chandeliers that we saw earlier. They're way up there. And little do these uh, the audience know that they're gonna be jumping on that and flying from that. The stage is quite interesting. And remember, this is a traveling show. But the lights are built in right here, but just beyond that, you can see the floor. This floor will rotate throughout the show. It has the possibility to. These lines right here are the different lines from the different pieces that they get out of the truck. It's like a giant, really heavy mechanical puzzle piece. There's a lot of work that goes into these shows. I mean, you're dazzled by the flying people, but behind the scenes, they have to carry all the stuff in and also do it the right way so that everything's safe. Oh, look at these guys. They're just That's jumping around. Bar. They're so yeah. strong. So one interesting thing is they practice every day. They need to get their muscle memory in check and they're also practicing for new acts that they may show in different cities once they perfect them. So like, in fact, this one that they're practicing here, they're not even gonna be doing tonight. This is just a training and a practice so that they can be ready and use it in a show at some point. We're going to the show tonight. We're gonna to be sitting right up here in the middle so that we can have a good view of everything. But um, Cirque du Soleil, while we were talking to them here, they said, how would it be if some of your viewers were able to come to this? So check it out. We're gonna put a link to their website down below and you can see the tour throughout the United States. All of the dates should be posted by now. We're gonna give away a family pack. So if you have, which will be about four tickets. We'll have it a will call for you. Look in the description down below and we'll let you know how you can win this. We'll have one person that we'll give these away to. But um, we'd love for you to come see Corteo. From what we've seen so far today, it looks like it's going to be a really fun show. Claire, are you ready for tonight? Yes, I'm really excited. Yes. What's your, what thing are you most excited for? I think the bed ones because I'm jumping on the bed was really cool. That is cool. Everybody wants to jump on the bed. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's behind a Cirque du Soleil performance and what it takes. Lincoln? Mm-hmm. Looked like you had something smart to say right there. Goodbye. Oh, okay. All right, goodbye from Lincoln.